Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this module, we have learnt a lot of things about caching. Now what we will do is we will jump to Visual Studio and implement caching, which means basically we will add try to add some cache control headers to our responses and see how the response time is drastically reduced. We have learnt a lot about caching in the theory. So in this video tutorial, let us implement caching for our web API. Go to your project and right click and add a new class file and name the class file as cache filter. So this will be the class that will contain the logic for our cache headers. And once the file is created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace with the code that I have already created and I have named the file cache filter the namespace as caching and I will save the file so the cache filter is basically inheriting from action filter attribute so just say f12 on top of that action filter attribute and uh, this action filter attribute has a few methods okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to override on action executed okay and on action executed what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cache control header onto my response okay so this particular response has different cache control headers they are max age must revalidate no store public and transform okay so whatever headers you want you can add over here and just save it and suppose that I want to implement caching for my officers controller okay so what I will do is I will come to officers controller over here and I will first say using caching okay and I will save that so just before implementing caching what I want to do is I want to go to fiddler and I want to show you what is the current time that uh, my application takes okay without caching okay so just click on that response and say properties so it takes basically 0 0.033 okay so I'm not sure if uh, uh, caching um, if I have cleared all my cache so what I will do is I will just build the solution and I will run the solution okay so basically I will run the solution and clear the cache whatever cache which is there by just saying control F5 so I'll start with debugging and I'll say control F5 so I think it's already opened over here so I will just say control F5 and once I say control F5 I will check the response time again okay so I'll come to composer and I will execute it again and let's see the elapsed time for this which is 0.428 okay so this is the elapsed time without any caching okay so now what I will do is I'll go to Visual Studio and I will implement caching for a particular controller okay so to implement caching you just need to invoke that particular class called cache filter okay and then you need to pass in a parameter of uh, variable duration okay. so I'm gonna say 300 seconds okay. so I'm gonna save this so basically I am passing this value to my class over here and basically saying maximum age is 300 okay. so once I do that let me build the solution again and once I build the solution I will go to fiddler and let me compose the request again so the first time it should take some time because just now we have built the solution and it is not taking any advantage of caching because only after the first request that the data will be cached so let's wait for some time and you see that it takes 14 seconds okay so earlier okay without caching it was taking 0.428 okay so what we will do now is let me issue a get request again okay so this time if you see 
the response has decreased from 0.428 to 0 0.018 okay so let me execute again let's see what is the response again and it is getting um, reduced even further okay and if you see for this particular request you can also see the headers over here if you go to the header section for the request or for the response where we had no caching it was like cache control is no cache so no cache control headers were set because this particular file was not there if you see now okay if you go to the header section all the different headers that we had set is appearing over here so the browser can read these values and it can take appropriate action by seeing these values so that's all about caching i have in this video tutorial thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning